Last time we looked at how to set up AutoWork Online's work in progress feature. Now we're going to go through how you can actually use it. The work in progress feature can be used to view the status of currently outstanding work and can vastly improve the workflow and efficiency of your workshop. As we talked about last time, you can select the template based on your job role, so we've got a few set up here. The most basic of these is the workshop manager. This shows just a basic overview of every job, but doesn't really go into too much detail. It would allow the manager to see roughly what's happening at a glance. If you want to get more information, you can drill down further. For example, if we hover over this job, we can see that it's a waiting start because it's pending the workshop. And if we double click on it, we can view even more details and even click through and actually open the job. The next template is the Service Advisor template. This goes into a little bit more detail. For example, we can see that three jobs are going to start today and are confirmed. One has been rebooked, one's pending workshop, one car's currently on the ramp being worked on, and two jobs are on hold away in part. Another view that we've got set up is the technician view. This is almost as detailed as the service advisor's view, which shows slightly different statuses. For example, it doesn't show which vehicles are due in today, just which ones are pending workshop or awaiting inspection. The last and most simple view is the valeting view. This simply shows work complete and a list of cars that are ready to be valeted. Now I'm going to show you some example workflows using the work in progress screen so you can get a better idea of how it can be used. So this customer's Audi A4 has come in, so we're going to book it in and mark it as a waiting inspection. So all we need to do is simply click and drag the job from the confirmed status onto the awaiting inspection one. That's it, as simple as that. The status of that job's now been updated automatically and everyone else who uses this view will be able to see that it's awaiting inspection. So now we're going to switch to the technician's view. We can now see that this car is now visible to the technician where it previously wasn't. The technician has taken a look at the car and he's decided that he can start work on the service. So again, he just simply clicks and drags the job from the waiting inspection status to on ramp. So now we're going to go back to the service advisors view again. As you can see, the Audi's moved onto on ramp here too. If we double click it, we can view further information. So you can see that the customer's asked us to wash this car when it's finished. If we click open, we can view the job in the document screen as well for even more information. So now we're going to return to the technician's view, as the work on that vehicle is complete. As the work's complete, it needs to be checked, so we're going to move it onto the quality control status. Now that the work's been checked over by a more senior technician, we're going to move it onto the work complete status to show this. So now we'll go back to the service advisor. It's going to update the job and mark the vehicle as off-site because the customer's picked it up. All you need to do is just double click the job and then click the mark off-site button. As you can see this has now been removed completely from the work in progress screen as the vehicle has been booked off-site. As you can see this vehicle has got a valet option specified on it. If we move this job directly through to work complete it will also add it to the ready for valeting queue. If we go into the view for the valeting department, they'll be able to see this as well. When the valeting has been completed, the valeting team will pass the keys back to the service advisor and advise him of this. All the service advisor needs to do now is double click the job and click the valet complete button. This will mark that the valeting has been completed and remove it from the ready for valet list although the vehicle still shows in the work complete list as it's still on site. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit autowork.online for regular updates.